What's up, my fellow devs, and welcome back to the Dev Shop. So first off, let me apologize for using this lame headset for the audio. I know I said I was going to upgrade the audio for the channel, and I still intend to do that. In the month of September, I want to do a lot of things, and one of those is upgrading the production value of the channel as a whole, so that's audio, even visually. We're getting really close to a thousand subs, and by that time, I want to do things like uh, changing up the way I present the videos, uh, maybe doing face cam uh, instead of just voice. So there's a lot of things I want to change. All right, so let's get right into the video. So today we're going to talk about the new interaction uh, viewport model for the for the engine. And this is where we do like our scale, move, rotate, and things of that nature. So Lumberyard has pretty much built this from the ground up to replace the old one. To reiterate, Lumberyard says that this uh, interaction model enables you to manage entities in 3D spaces faster and more effectively and is a complete reworking in one of our editors most essential production tools the viewport manipulator a tool that enables you to select move rotate and scale any entity within the lumberyard editor all right so the first thing that we need to do is enable it so what we're going to do is go to edit editor settings global preferences and at the bottom of general settings, you'll see enable new viewport interaction model experimental. I already have it checked. It's going to require that you restart the editor. So be prepared for that. And once you do so, you'll be able to select entities and deselect them in a different manner. So with the new viewport, when you select an entity, it is wholly selected, meaning that you can't click out of it. There's no way to accidentally click on another entity like it was in the previous one. And to deselect, you're either going to double click anywhere out of the selected entity, like here, or hit spacebar. And for someone who uses Moto, that is very familiar to me, uh, dropping a tool, as they call it, with spacebar. All right, so the first few things that we can do with the new model is when we select an entity and we select another entity, it's going to average the position between the two to give us our pivot. It's going to do the same thing for when we select the third one. So averaging out between the middle of the three entities. And when we select the fourth one, it's going to be right here in the middle to average out all four, as you can see. Also, when we select an entity and we want to switch between, say, translation and rotation, if we hold control, and we scroll with the middle mouse button, we can go between the two, which would definitely speed up your movement and placement, um, or rotation rather, when you're doing environment design. Also keep in mind that it keeps the same design from the old model as far as switching between uh, translation, rotation, and scale. So selecting an entity using one, two, and three still gives you your uh, scale, rotation, and movement or translation. If you hold control while the entity is selected and move the pivot, you can move it anywhere you want in the scene uh, to make it easier for you to rotate or move uh, that entity. And if you were to hold Alt and select on an entity, you can actually snap it to that entity or the pivot that is. As you can see there, so if I click on here holding Alt, it snaps to that entity right away. And if I wanted to manipulate it without that and move it somewhere to my liking, I hold control and just move it. All right, let's drop that tool. Keep in mind when selecting these entities and actually snapping the pivot to a selected entity, it's going to rotate off that pivot. So if I rotate here, it's going to rotate from there. And if I snap it to this guy, it snaps here. And then if I rotate from here, now it's going to rotate from that guy instead of the middle. You see? So keep that in mind. All right, the next thing that we can do with the new model is actually if we select on a few entities, let's say these two, and if I hold control and select anywhere on the map by clicking the middle mouse button, I can move entities directly where I click. 
Now, of course, this is going to move it to pivot. So if I was to go back, all right, and now that I have this one selected, it selects wherever I click because the pivot is in the middle of the entity. All right. Now, another thing that we can do is when you select a entity and you have it on the rotation, remember this is the translation, this is the rotation. They do, they do different things based off which one you have selected. But for the rotation, let's say I wanted to rotate this about right there. Now, if I wanted to match this guy to that one, what I first do is click on here and with the rotation modifier, that's what I'm gonna call it, <laughs> rotation modifier selected, I'm going to hold control and middle mouse click on the one that I want to copy. As you can see, it, it mirror, mirrored, sorry, or mimicked rather the same rotation. If I drop and do the same thing for the big guy, click on this guy, control, middle mouse click, it's going to mirror its rotation. Pretty cool, pretty handy. Another thing that we can do is actually rotate the, well obviously we can rotate on the pivot, but another option is being able to rotate on each individual pivot. So if we select all of these guys and we rotate, you're gonna get it from the pivot that's set in the middle of all four, right? But if I hold Alt and then rotate, it's gonna rotate on the local or the individual pivot of each entity. All right, and the last but not least thing that we can do is actually align an entity to another entity. So if I wanted to take this guy here and I wanted to align him with this entity, I match him in the same position and everything, I hold control. And while our translation or our move modifier is selected, we're going to middle mouse click on this guy here and it matches that rotation. Do the same thing for here. Drop the tool, click, match. Drop the tool, click, match. All right, and as you can see, they're on top of each other because they're matching the, well, they're aligning rather to the other entity that we're clicking on. So, hope you guys enjoyed that video. This is a very early uh, 1.0 release of the viewport model and it's already pretty awesome, already better than the previous if you ask me. If you have any feedback or questions, let the Lumberyard team know uh, because like I said, it's a 1.0 and they want to make it better. And like I said, even as a 1.0, it's very usable, very ready. Um, I am not going back to the old one after this video. <laughs> but let me know if you have any questions or comments down below. If you guys are already using the interaction model or if you're going to use it, let me know in the comments. I'm definitely gonna be using it. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to join the Discord. We're over there talking about Lumberyard, other engines, and whatnot. Engage with the community. I'm trying to build that up, as I always say. Other than that, hope you guys are having a very dope day. Hope you guys are prospering in your projects. And until next time, keep developing.